In this video, we'll compare ceramic and new demia magnets. We'll focus on strength, longevity, durability, heat resistance, and cost. The most obvious difference between these two materials is the magnetic strength. We'll test the strength of ceramic and neodymium magnets of the same size. This small ceramic disc magnet has a pull force of about one and a half pounds. The same size neodymium magnet tested at around 15 pounds. But what does that look like practically? Let's do some further testing. Next, a two inch by one inch by half inch block magnet in both materials. This size ceramic magnet does have some practical holding power, but it's no match for the powerful neodymium magnet. We ran out of objects to hang from it. And what about some popular hook type magnets? The neodymium hook magnet is more than five times stronger, but is the same size. In fact, the weakest grade of neodymium is about five to six times stronger than the strongest grade of ceramic. Neodymium magnets are unmatched in this category.
Next, let's look at a practical example of how long a ceramic magnet will retain its magnetism. A new dimmium magnet will only lose about 1% of its strength every 10 years. It would take a huge external field or high temperatures to demagnetize it. The same can't be said for a ceramic magnet. A ceramic magnet has a low corrosivity, meaning it can be easily demagnetized by another magnetic field. This ceramic magnet can hold about eight sheets of copy paper to a whiteboard. But when exposing it to a strong neodymium magnet, we can actually demagnetize it slightly. We can then remagnetize it using neodymium magnets. Which material is more fragile? Both materials are hard and brittle and can be broken from impact. Due to the hardness and strength of neodymium, two neodymium magnets can break each other if slammed together. The materials are tied in this category. We can also flip the poles of a ceramic magnet using a neodymium magnet. Neodymium magnets will last a lifetime, while ceramic magnets can eventually lose their magnetism. As mentioned previously, neodymium magnets can be demagnetized by heat. Most standard grades have a max operating temperature of 180 degrees Fahrenheit, but it can also depend on the shape. There are high temperature grades available that can withstand up to 430 degrees Fahrenheit. Ceramic magnets tend to do better with high temperatures. They can typically withstand up to 480 degrees Fahrenheit. Considering there are new dimium grades that can closely match this, we'll say that ceramic has the advantage initially, but we'll call it a tie. And lastly, let's look at price. On the surface, ceramic is a much cheaper material. In fact, it's one of the least expensive magnet materials, which makes it popular for many products and applications. However, if we compare the pull force versus cost, neodymium magnets usually win. In this example, our D82 magnet gets you 6.5 pounds of force per dollar spent. This ramp magnet gets you 3.4 pounds per dollar spent. Neodymium gets you the most pull force per dollar spent, which can be important in many applications. While ceramic magnets do have their place, the development of neodymium magnets changed the industry. Neodymium magnets are crucial in making products smaller and more efficient. This is why we choose only to supply neodymium magnets. Visit our website, kjmagnetics.com, or email us to discuss how neodymium magnets could make your project better.